Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2024 Flagstaff Superlight model number 29 RLS. The newest Superlight floor plan on the market today. Weighs 8,200 pounds, 35 feet overall, three slides. We got a bed slide, then we got two living room slides with three couches in this guy. Just fantastic. This is an upside down pyramid scheme. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Handelmeyer on the camera today. Brendan? What's going on? Happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople. Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. I really like this floor plan. We have a different manufacturer that used to do this. We sold a ton of them. This. It's an even better version of it, higher end. I really appreciate it. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, that'd be fantastic. Leave a comment even. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook. We're gonna do a shorter video of this, but it's still gonna be awesome. Enjoy this loaded flakes. Right on, Brendan. Front power jack, 30 pound for paint tanks, battery in a box location there. Front windshield over top of our bedroom, bringing in nice natural light. You're sitting up in there looking out over the peasants. We got a nice unibrow light in through there for LEDs. Power jacks on this guy too. And then here's our storage on the outside. It goes in underneath our bed. You can see even the minor construction here from Flagstaff is all aluminum framing. Awesome stuff. Uh, as we come down the side, we have our sewer drain. We have our fresh water fill, city water connection, antifreeze inlet, black water flush kit, all done neat and tidy from here. Six gallon gas electric water here. Furnace vent, outside shower. This particular one has the slide top for upgrade, which is an option on this one. And as we come around here, it's a 50 amp detachable style port. There's a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. That's a one piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suit. Full size spare here at the back. All aluminum frame, plywood floors. Here's our third slide pulling our third couch off the floor. And then because this slide isn't actually that long, it allows us to put this big awning starting here, going all the way forward. LED lights in the awning, a nice cradle in the awning as well, carrying that extra weight. Lend a hand grab handle, three step entrance up and in, 15 inch Goodyear tires with torsion suspension, nitro fill on through there as well. And then these stairs are actually cable assisted, so they're really easy to pop up and in. Light here on the outside, lighting our stair for us at nighttime. There's an outside griddle that's going to clip on here, and also an outside table that's going to clip on here. You can add an outside TV. All three of the slides are rack and pinion style slides, so they have a manual override. And then, if you want to add some supplemental solar panel, you can add that right in through here. But it comes stock with a 200 watt panel on the roof and an 1800 watt charge controller or 1800 watt inverter and a charge controller. Let's go see what kind of travel access we have here with the slide out closed. Coming in the main door, we're absolutely able to get to the washroom and we can get down here quite easily and get to our fridge, which opens from the right side in. Let's get this thing opened up. Right on folks, we're coming inside that 29 RLS. If in the travel access video you mentioned or you see that this burner is on, don't be worried. There's no propane tanks uh, that are filled on this model. So there's not propane in this trailer. We're good, I gotta shut off so everybody relax. Right here's our kitchen space. We're gonna get to it here in a second. I wanna talk about the living space first. We have two trifold style sofas here. They're gonna pull out lengthwise. You have you know, two people sleeping on either one there. If they're in love, they can both be out simultaneously. We got our fireplace down in through here. Sound bar right there. TV across from the actual theaters. And then cupboard space down either side of our TV location. Cupboard space here. Cover space there, and then same thing down this side. Compliments to whoever finished around the fireplace, because uh, previous years they were doing like this, like plastic fake brick kind of thing. This this looks a lot nicer. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It looks really good around there. There's no carpet in the slides here as well, so it just finishes off this room really, really nicely. We could have a little bit of a dance in through here, Brandon. We'll do that later. We got cover space here across the top of this couch. Nice reading lights in through here. We have roller shades throughout. And then we have a uh, fridge that opens from either side. So Brandon, you made the point after we finished the video that it was probably easier to get to the fridge from the left hand side in travel mode, but you can do whatever you want. You can do left or you can do right. We have a freezer as well. 
glass stove top cover, a deeper oven than we're used to seeing in travel trailers, a drawer down in through here, a cupboard right there, and then solid surface counters here with smaller covers across the top. Before we get fully into the kitchen, we didn't talk about the theater seat, Brendan. The theater seat's facing the TV, which we love. We got uh, four cup holders, so that's two drinks per person. We have reclining action in through here and very, very nice plush seats. Also, on this side of the trailer, beside the theater seats, we got this big door side window, big windows behind that couch as well, so we're facing our campsite, which is exactly how we like it. Solid surface countertops here in our bar dinette area. Very, very nice and clean and matches the kitchen. It extends the counter space to wherever you want to do. These chairs are movable, obviously, and uh, really nice and flexible in through there. The rest of our kitchen, we've got counter space on both sides of the sink. We've got a kitchen window. We've got a larger uh, bike wave in through here, and by larger, I mean average size. Covered space here for plates and cups. Four drawers down the right hand side. A cupboard here below for garbage can and recycling in through there. I feel that we've done what we need to do in the living space, B. I agree. All right, into the bathroom now. We've got a porcelain style toilet. Dump truck fits in through here. Cupboard space there where they juked me on. That's access to like plumbing and stuff like that, but there's a little bit of a shelf there. We have a sink, medicine cabinet here. And then one more larger cabinet there. We'll get to that when I get, after I get to the shower. I'm six feet tall. You can tell I fit in the shower quite easily. Nice radius style door. So whatever water's on the inside of the door stays inside the shower. And we've got that other living closet I was telling you about right in there. there. Fantastic fan in the bathroom is standard. And then here's our bed slide, which again, pulls our bed off the floor. We love that because it gives us all the space to get around. We do have storage here we can get to from uh, lifting this up or we have the drawers from down below okay we got that front windshield we talked about at the very beginning there is a blind there that will separate off the the light from outside we've got a closet here <coughs> cupboard couple drawers and then one more cupboard right here with seamless countertops on the top Feeling good about the living space, the bedroom space, all that, Brennan? Yeah. Let's hit the like button. Let's hit the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.